what's up hello hello good morning i just washed my face hello hey welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is aviana shade or kid does not matter to me kid is just a sticky name and i kind of like to stick by it <laughs> If this is your first video uh, you're seeing of me, uh, a lot of the context is going to be coming from my very previous video, like the last video I just posted. So um, you can refer back to that if I say anything that's like kind of like, girl, what's the context? What are you talking about? As you can see, the same shirt I went to sleep in. So I'm not, I'm not tricking y'all with my hair challenge or nothing. I'm not putting that grease in my hair today though, today. I'm going to blow it out. I'm going to show y'all the stretch length because I said I was going to show it to y'all. I'm going to show y'all the blown out length. And we're going to start on my hair. Today, we are braiding my hair. And when I say today, I really mean as many days as it takes me to braid my hair. Because my fingers get cramped. I get hungry. I need to take a break. There's not a th That's just what happens when you do your own hair. So today, we are doing knotless boho braids but i want to keep them short i want to keep them like bob length like can i do that if my hair comes right here can i listen we're gonna braid it as far down as my hair allows me to go and we're gonna stop where my hair stops so it can all you know stay the same thickness you know so i'm gonna go ahead and blow my hair out and i'm gonna see y'all most likely downstairs because i still have to take the dogs out but I'm not about to go up and down these stairs because my legs are killing me from doing all of this leg workout stuff. It's it's my leg challenge month and today is leg day. I, okay, I know I said downstairs, but let me show y'all the uh, blowout length check. This is how my hair looks like blown out, not trying to pull it down, nothing. Um, yeah, nothing's changed. Still down here at the pink, you know? And then we like measured, what, this one? Somewhere, something. Yellow. I should have got a marker. You know, this one was here. Over here was like down here. Same as yesterday. Of course I had some breakage, but that's breakage. I thought about cutting the ends like trimming my ends but honestly I usually get my ends trimmed near the end of the year I mean it is November so I'm kind of on time but I'm thinking I'm gonna do my trim after I take my braids out next month so December I'm gonna get it trimmed um yeah I'm not putting that grease on my hair today um if I finish Hopefully I finish my braids tomorrow. Today is Monday. Hopefully I finish my braids tomorrow on Tuesday. Then I would probably end up greasing my scalp on Monday, November 6th. So I feel like after that, I'm gonna do it like every other day, maybe every two days. That's how often I'm gonna put that grease in my head. Um, just in case y'all are following on the challenge with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and go downstairs, have my mother part the back of my head and get started. I'm gonna put a picture right here. These are the parts that I'm doing. I'm doing small knotless, and I just need her to part the rows for me. And we're good. So we're upstairs. She did the first, she did the bottom four in the back for me. I was just like, the rest of it is gonna be cursed. So I don't know how you want that done for real, yada, yada, blah, blah. So I'm gonna have to do the rest of the back myself, but this is how the part is looking. And when I check this video, I might be upset because it feels uneven, but you know what? She did better than I would have done. So we're gonna we're gonna roll with these punches. The hair that I, I have a whole bench full of hair, and I normally always get long braids. I never do a bob, and I was not gonna spend no money. <laughs> so we're gonna use what I have, and. Uh, shorten it i guess because 
it's all long. Like, yeah, we're going for like a this length bob, so I'm gonna have to cut it. I'm gonna end up cutting it. I'm gonna end up cutting it. I'm doing all black, and then I kind of want some color in the front. This is the braiding gel I'm using. I usually use, I'm gonna put a picture of what I usually use, the Shine Jam. I usually use that, but because I needed new mousse and I seen this mousse and I was like, bet we're gonna use this. I just thought like it's always best to use the same brand with the same brand, so. And I would have had to buy some more Shine Jam because mine got used up by my cousin who did my mom's hair with my jam. So my jam is almost gone. So yes, we're gonna use these two for the boho part. It's always recommended to use human hair. However, I don't have no human hair uh, uh, 27. I don't have no human hair 27. And the only human hair I really do have is on a wig. So I'd have to cut it off the wig. So instead of doing that, I'm just gonna use the braiding hair itself, twist it up and dip it. Okay guys, so getting started, the first thing you wanna do is not too much on me and how my room is looking, please, please. But for real though, you wanna get your hair and you wanna start laying it out. Actually, the very first thing, you wanna get you a good show to watch because you're gonna be sitting in one place for a good while. So get your hair, start separating it, and just keep going because you don't know how many you're gonna need. Just keep laying them out. Why I open it and it has a tear in it? Somebody put their dirty little hands in here. Are we good? We good. No nasty little fingerprints in here. I just had to stop and say that because like, why would you? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I'm gonna start back recording when I get to the top one for y'all. I'm not gonna lie because then this is gonna be like real long. <sighs> okay, y'all. So the back is not done yet. Um, those first four. I pretty much finished them. It's just this one braid right here, but you know how the braiding hair I showed y'all has like one, two, three. The first one finished, and I was like, you know what, let me go ahead, take a break. It's a new day. It's a new day, yeah. My break has been pretty long, but I still have this section in the back Um, that needs to be parted off, but I can't see that. But I'm gonna go ahead and part the front of my head. That way, when my mom does the back part of my head, I can just keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm probably not gonna finish my hair until tomorrow. I was hoping to finish it today, but um, yeah, no. So I'm gonna show y'all how I part the front of my head. And whew, I'm gonna show you how I part the front of my head get back to braiding my hair. Then we get to the front of my hair, I can show y'all a little more detail what I do, how I do it. Okay, so boom, you guys. Parting the front of my head, you know you have to line up with your nose and get that perfect middle part. So it took me a while to do that. And then I'm going to section off one side of my head and get started. You on the head. Only be missing my lover. Got a phone that I text my phone and it don't reply. So... When parting my head, I like to use my eyes and my eyebrows as a guide. For each section, I went by either the arch of my eyebrows or the corner of my eyes and each part. And I try to just make each part even. So as I'm parting my hair, I would go through and either braid it down or twist it down. Girl, if you know how to cornrow, because honestly, y'all, I don't know how to cornrow. It would be so much more helpful if you just cornrow the parts down so that you have it readily set apart but i don't know how to so i just twisted them down just to get them out the way Yeah, 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 yeah. You're the medicine. 
This is what the parts are looking like. Boom. Boom. I don't know if y'all can see where the parts are. Boom, boom. 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 Looking like a good 12 to 15 on each side. And then this situation in the back, I really don't know. I really don't know. I'm honestly going to get my mother to do that part because... Let's get into how to do a knotless braid. This is just my method. I feel like everyone has their own method, but this is the best way I could tell you. So if you don't know how to do knotless braids, let's go. So first, I'm just gelling away everything that's not being used and gelling every inch of the part that I'm actually using. That piece of hair should look like the straightest, stiffest thing you've ever put in your head. Then you're gonna grab two pieces of hair of your braiding hair and make sure you have them on the side. So now I'm splitting my hair into three parts. You wanna make it look like a little Mercedes-Benz sign, I guess. You wanna keep them in those three spots because of the way we're about to braid. Now that your hair is split into three parts, you're gonna grab one piece of your braiding hair and put it between two of those parts, just like that. Put it right in the middle of those two parts, wrap your hand around and grab that other piece of your hair and grab it tight. You want this braid to be tight, you guys. You want it to be tight at the beginning. You're gonna grab it and braid like normal. Now, if you don't know how to braid, I would just have to explain that in a different video, but this is just starting the knotless braid. Once you start braiding as normal, you wanna braid down about, I guess, nine times. So one, two, three, and just keep going down. About a good eight, nine times before that strand of your hair that doesn't have any braiding hair on it ends up in between your index finger and your thumb so that you're able to put the other piece of braiding hair in there. So like right here, I grab it and then I'm going to get that other piece of braiding hair. And for regular knotless, you would put both of those strands, one in your index and thumb, and the other with the other piece of hair that is left out. But because we're doing boho, or attempting boho with synthetic hair, you're going to shorten one end and keep the other end long. You're going to put the longer end in between your index and thumb finger with that piece of hair that has no braiding hair with it and leave the shorter end out. Just leave it out. Now your piece of hair has a braiding hair. We're going to put that shorter end off to the side and continue braiding as normal. Remember, you want to keep it tight. Make sure none of the hair is slipping and sliding for real and just keep braiding down as normal. Now, when you get to the ends of your hair in the braid, you wanna get some gel. Now, if your hair is puffy like mine at the ends, you wanna get some gel. Gel down your hair into the braid, into each of those sections and continue braiding down as normal. You don't want your hair to be sticking out in the braid and then it's like, it looks crappy because you can see where your hair ends in the braid. That's just not cute. So gel it down in the braid and continue braiding down as normal.
so like i said earlier me personally i want a bob so i ended up braiding a little lower than needed and tied it off but later on i'm actually gonna cut it So here I'm just showing you guys the process again. Split your hair in three, get two braiding hair pieces, braid down, leave that one piece out, make the other piece shorter, yada yada. You know, just like in the beginning. If you got it the first time, you can skip ahead. If you just want to watch it again a second time, be my guest. Okay, so boom, let's rant a little bit. As we see, the hair is not done. I'm outside in my car in a bonnet. Because yesterday, I guess the doctor's office called my mother and let her know, hey, you got an appointment today. So we went there. I told her I had to get some stuff, but I don't got to get it now. I'm going to get it when my hair is done today. Because my hair is to finish my hair today. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Trump just won. I'm really not in the mood. I just I just want my hair done. I just want my hair done. I just want my hair done. And so we end up going to Walmart because she wants to see if this yarn is on sale because she's doing this blank or no, she finished her blanket. So I don't know why she wants to see that the yarn is still on sale. 
knowing that my hair has to be done today because I want my hair done today. So we leave. We leave Walmart. And I'm driving. But I don't come down this way often. I only come down here when we have a doctor's appointment. So, like, I'm asking her, I'm like, oh, this is the turn to the highway, right? She's like, no, we're going to Sam's. Still? Why do we go to Walmart? Like, yeah, I needed stuff. I don't have to get that stuff until my hair is done. So I don't really need to go to Walmart. You wanted to see if something was on sale. Walmart I did not need it then. And I didn't even have it. So, why are we still going to Sam's? Apparently, she wanted to go to Walmart and Sam's. Knowing that my hair needs to be done today. It is currently... Where's my phone? It's 5.13 in the afternoon. I want my hair done today. The front is still not done. I want my hair done today. So I went inside to Sam's. I had to pee. I went to use the bathroom. Got me some sushi. She's still in there. Um, getting whatever. She said she had to get some stuff for the dogs and then some vegetables. I told her, oh, well, I'm going to the bathroom. I'm going to get some sushi. I'm going to eat. I'm going to go take a nap because I'm tired. My hair's not done. Trump just won. And it's raining outside. Like, anyway. Enough of my ranting. That's it. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. I'm going to see y'all Thursday. And we'll see where my hair got to. Y'all, after we got home, I was so upset. I literally just went to my room and went to sleep. And took a nap. And I woke up at midnight, like 1230 and I was like, you know what? No, I said I was going to finish my hair. So let's finish my hair. Um, if anyone has any tips or tricks of a tuck method for um, knotless braids, please like comment it below. Put someone's YouTube link below something because it was times like these that I really wish I had a tuck method and I don't. there y'all front down back done now i need this middle part i just need this middle situation done. i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie i don't want to do it oh okay we are almost done we're almost done let me show y'all how i roll up my hair because we said it's gonna be boho so this is how we make it boho i'm gonna go ahead and separate my braids like the braided hair from the pieces of hair that we left out that we want to make curly. Then just to keep it out of the way, I just go ahead and braid it up, leave it out, and we're going to go ahead and use these orange rollers that I have to roll up the braids. You're gonna get your mousse, put it all over the hair, all over the hair, all over the hair, all over the hair, and wrap this roller as tight, as tight as you can. Trust me, you want it to be tight. Then for the braided sections, you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the ends. You're gonna put mousse all over the ends and wrap it as tight as you can around the rollers. Now, notice how I didn't wrap it all the way to the end because like I said in the beginning, I want it to be a bob. So I went through and I cut all of the excess pieces off to go ahead and get ready to dip them all in hot water. <gasps> you guys. We came a long way. I'm in the kitchen. We about to dip this hair in the hot water. I'm gonna get a little mug and dip these little ones in hot water. And I'm done. I'm gonna wrap it in a towel, I'm gonna blow dry. We're gonna see what the hair is looking like tomorrow. It's currently sometime in the morning. It's two something Saturday morning. Y'all not getting this video Saturday. Y'all get it Sunday, so y'all will see it tomorrow, but almost here so whenever i wake when i wake up tomorrow y'all gonna see that finished look but we about to dip this dry it go to sleep and i'll see you guys when i'll see you guys tomorrow in a few hours because it's already tomorrow yeah good morning it's saturday morning 
Let's take the hair out and blow dry it a little because it's still kind of wet. I know my pillow is soaked, so I gotta change my pillows now. That's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Now for the reveal. I'm scared, y'all. Cause this is where you find out if your hair comes out the way you that you wanted it or not. Y'all, I really was scared for the outcome, but it came out looking pretty okay. I went through and separated um, the braids, and then I cut it a little shorter because, of course, it came out longer than I really wanted it to. So we just had to cut it a little shorter, but look at the ends. The ends are so curly. And we're going to go ahead and take out the loose hair at the top. So as I take out the hair at the top, I go ahead and cut it at the same length as I have the braids cut. And I just did that all the way around. And this is how the hair came out. Cute, cute, cute. Again, you guys, this is my method of how to do a knotless boho braid with all synthetic hair, all braiding hair, no human hair used. If you think I did a good job, please like this video. If you think I could have done something different, please leave it in the comments below. Girl, put me on. Until the next video, you guys. Bye.